Welcome to the Nursing Theories, brought to you by the Nursing Classroom. Today, we are going to talk about Hildegard Peplau. Hildegard Peplau was born on the 1st of September 1909 in Reading, Pennsylvania, United States. She graduated in 1931 from Pennsylvania School of Nursing. Hildegard was a certified psychoanalyst and in 1950 she developed the first classes for graduate psychiatric student nurses. She was also a member of the College of Nursing at the Rogers University until 1974, year she retired. Hildegard was also an advisor for the World Health Organization and a visiting professor to countries such as Africa and Belgium. Peplau was the president of the American Nurses Association between 1970 and 1972. In 1952, Hildegard Peplau published her theory of interpersonal relations, influenced by Henry Stack Sullivan, Percival Simmons, Abraham Maslow and Neil Elgar Miller. Her theory focused on psychiatric nursing. Let's have a look. Hildegard Peplau's interpersonal relations theory emphasized the nurse-patient relationship as the foundation of nursing, as a partnership. Her theory has four concepts, four phases, and seven roles that nurses can take in the process. The four concepts are person, environment, health, and nursing. Person is related to the organism that tries to reduce anxiety caused by their needs. Environment is related to the forces outside the person. Health is described as a word symbol that implies a forward movement of personality. And nursing is a therapeutic interpersonal process of cooperation with another human process that makes health possible for individuals. The four phases are orientation, identification, exploitation, and resolution. At the orientation phase, the nurse and the patient come together as strangers. The meeting is initiated by the patient who expresses a felt need. The nurse and the patient will work together to recognize, clarify, and define facts related to the need. Next, on the identification phase, the patient will work in a partnership, setting goals, and starts feeling part of the process, responding to those who can meet their needs. In the exploitation phase, the patient actively seeks and draws knowledge and expertise of those who can help. The patient needs have been met by collaboration between the nurse and the patient. In the last phase, resolution, the patient no longer needs the nurse and gives up their dependency. The patient will move away and break the bond between the patient and nurse with a healthy balance. And both will become mature individuals having grown from the interaction. Now, let's have a look at the nursing roles defined by Hildegard Peplau. Stranger is when the nurse offers the client the same acceptance and courtesy that the nurse would respond to any stranger. Resource is when the nurse provides specific answers to the patient's questions with a larger context. Teacher is when the nurse helps the patient to learn formally or informally. Leader is when the nurse offers direction to the patient or to the group. Surrogate is when the nurses is serving as substitute for another, such a parent or a sibling. Counselor is when the nurse promotes experiences leading to health for the patient, such as expressing their feelings. Technical expert is when the nurses provide physical care for the patient and operates equipment required. There are other roles described by Peplau, such as consultant, 
health teacher, safety agent, and mediator. However, the roles that we have just described are the most important ones. The main goal of this theory is to incentive the process where the nurse and the patient respect each other as individuals, where both are learning and growing due to the interaction. However, it's really important to look at the assumptions of this theory. Peplau said, the nurse and the patient need to be able to interact. They need to be able to communicate. Both patient and nurse need to be able to grow with interaction. Communication skills need to be held by the nurse. And the nurses need to believe to be a promoter of their patient's growth and avoiding limiting the choices and the processes to their own beliefs. This theory defends that the nurse's duty is not only to care, but to take an active role in this process as a partnership. The process described is mainly based in conversation, limiting the application to those incapable of conversing, such as unconscious patients. Despite Peplau's background in psychiatric nursing, this theory can be applied in other fields and not limited to psychiatry. The different roles will help the nurse to engage and develop the patient's feeling of belonging, as it will assist to develop strategies appropriate to the stage of the relationship. This theory does not highlight health promotion or its maintenance. Peplau's theory also does not consider patients that do not understand the existence of the need, for instance, withdrawn patients. What do you think about the interpersonal relations theory from Ildgard Peplau? Let us know in the comments.